The truth about electric vehicle fires. Media misdirection or scientific fact? Dear viewers, welcome to our channel. The issue of electric vehicle EV fires has always attracted attention, but the truth behind it is not widely known. Authoritative data reveals a startling fact. The incidence of fires in electric cars is much lower than that in traditional gasoline vehicles. However, biased media coverage has led to misconceptions among the public regarding electric vehicles. Are electric vehicles really more prone to fires? How does their safety compare to traditional gasoline vehicles? We need to be skeptical of media reports, delve into the truth behind them, and understand how to scientifically address potential risks. Recently, data released by authoritative institutions revealed a truth contradictory to common beliefs. Compared to gasoline vehicles, the actual fire incidence in electric vehicles is extremely low. Studies by the National Transportation Safety Board NTSB, and the Bureau of Transportation Statistics BTS, in the United States indicate that, in the American market, there are approximately 1,530 incidents of fires per 100,000 gasoline vehicles. In contrast, the rate of fires in pure electric vehicles is only 25 incidents per 100,000 vehicles. This means that the probability of fires in gasoline vehicles is over 60 times higher than in electric vehicles. In Sweden, a country where electric vehicles are more widely used, data from the Swedish Civil Contingencies Agency MSB, also confirms a similar trend. In 2022, there were only 24 incidents of electric vehicle fires nationwide, accounting for 0.004% of all electric vehicles, while the fire rate for traditional gasoline vehicles reached 0.08%, a difference of 20 times. Experts point out that media coverage of electric vehicle fires is severely biased. Even though the incidence of fires in electric vehicles is extremely low, media reports often exaggerate incidents when electric vehicles are involved. Sometimes fires are not even caused by electric vehicles, yet the media still focuses on them. This skewed attention not only distorts public perception of risks, but also unfairly pressures electric vehicle manufacturers and users. Furthermore, some reports of fire accidents have been misleading. For example, in July of last year, the Japanese cargo ship Fremantle Highway, carrying 3,800 new vehicles including 498 electric cars, caught fire during transit leading global media to speculate that electric vehicles might have caused the fire. Such unverified speculations have exacerbated public misunderstandings about electric vehicle safety. Therefore, when facing fire accidents, a fair and objective attitude should be maintained, and blame should not be indiscriminately attributed to electric vehicles. Correct risk assessment and rational media reporting are crucial for maintaining the image of the electric vehicle industry and protecting consumer rights. According to a report by Clean Technica, upon inspection by investigators, the 498 electric cars on board the ship were undamaged, and the fire originated several decks away from the area where the electric cars were parked. Following a preliminary investigation into the ship fire by the International Union of Marine Insurance IUMI, an announcement was made on X date stating, there is no evidence to suggest that the fire was caused by electric cars. It emphasized that studies show that electric cars do not increase the risk of fires, they are not inherently dangerous. A similar situation occurred in a fatal building fire in Hanoi, Vietnam, in September of last year. An initial report by the investigative news website Rest of World suggested that the fire may have been caused by an electric scooter charging, sparking citywide doubts about electric vehicle safety. However, the final investigation results revealed that the source of the fire was a gasoline-powered motorcycle. When it comes to emerging products, people often hold a skeptical attitude. In vehicle fire accidents, emerging electric vehicles are often unfairly blamed. Although initial media and public speculation and criticism about electric vehicle fire incidents were rampant, relevant reports often went unnoticed once the truth was revealed. 
media coverage of electric vehicle fires appears to have an exaggerated tendency, with experts believing this phenomenon stems from gasoline vehicle fires no longer being a hot topic. Paul A. A. Cole, a professor at the School of Chemical and Biomolecular Engineering at the Georgia Institute of Technology in Atlanta, pointed out that society now widely accepts the fact that gasoline vehicles catch fire. Incidents of gasoline vehicle fires no longer attract excessive public attention and are even considered insignificant by many media outlets. Professor Cole shared a first-hand example. He once witnessed a gasoline vehicle catching fire on a highway, but there was almost no one stopping to watch, nor was there any news coverage of the incident. Electric vehicles occasionally become the focus of fire reports, but careful analysis reveals that many reports are actually repetitions of the same incident or incorrect associations unrelated to electric vehicles. This repetitive reporting not only fails to solve the problem but also increases public doubts about the safety of electric vehicles. Despite such misunderstandings, the electrification trend in the global automotive market remains strong. Authoritative institutions have explicitly stated that scapegoating electric vehicles is unfair, and increasing evidence suggests that labeling them moving fire hazards is inappropriate. Insightful netizens point out that blaming electric vehicles for fire incidents is unjust. The real issue lies not with electric vehicles themselves, but with the safety of battery technology. Take Tesla, for example. The company has implemented innovative measures in battery design, such as using large module designs to prevent the failure of individual batteries from affecting the entire battery pack, and using flame retardant materials between each battery to reduce the risk of overheating and prevent heat propagation. Additionally, Tesla's battery pack design includes exhaust ports to quickly release hot air when internal temperatures are high, thus preventing potential dangers. Although the media often erroneously links electric vehicles to fire accidents, technological advancements by companies like Tesla are driving the electrification trend in the global automotive industry even further. A report by the National Renewable Energy Laboratory NREL, in the United States last year indicated that with multiple countries enacting bans on combustion engines, most automakers are rapidly expanding the production of zero-emission vehicles and committing to transitioning. Since its establishment in 2003, Tesla has been focused on producing pure electric vehicles. Traditional automakers such as Audi, Fiat, Volvo, and Mercedes-Benz have also announced the cessation of gasoline vehicle research and development, planning to fully transition to electrification by 2030. General Motors and Honda have set targets for 2035 and 2040, respectively. With the development and popularization of electric vehicle technology, public perceptions of electric vehicles have become more objective and clear. Speculative concerns without factual basis are ultimately replaced by facts and evidence. Observing the latest trends in the Chinese electric vehicle market, we can see a strong growth momentum. However, as electric vehicles become more widespread, occasional natural incidents attract widespread public attention. So, are electric vehicles more prone to fires? According to authoritative Chinese media reports, the likelihood of fires in new energy vehicles is actually much lower than that in traditional gasoline vehicles. In 2019, the probability of fires in new energy vehicles in China was 0.0049%, which decreased to 0.0026% by 2020. In comparison, according to data from the Ministry of Public Security, the annual fire accident rate for traditional gasoline vehicles is approximately between 0.01% and 0.02%. Since the probability of electric vehicle fires is not high, under what circumstances do electric vehicles catch fire? The main cause of electric vehicle fires is the traction battery, with 31% of fire incidents related to battery self-ignition. During rapid charging, lithium batteries may generate a large amount of heat due to poor conductivity, causing a rapid rise in temperature, leading to thermal runaway. 
fires during vehicle charging may also be due to improper operation by the owner. In addition, collisions from external forces may cause lithium batteries to deform, leading to internal component damage and short circuits between positive and negative poles. To prevent electric vehicle fires, we can take the following measures, regularly maintain the battery and check its integrity, ensure that the environment around the charging pile is dry and tidy during charging, keep away from flammable and explosive materials, and strictly follow the instructions for use to avoid prolonged charging or misuse of charging plugs, avoid unauthorized modifications to electric vehicles, as vehicles sold by the manufacturer typically undergo rigorous inspections. When parking, choose a dry and cool place and avoid prolonged exposure to sunlight, drive in a standardized manner to avoid frequent braking, starting, and accelerating, which can not only reduce damage to the battery but also increase the driving range, avoid long-distance driving and rest at service areas in time to allow the battery to cool down. If an electric vehicle catches fire unfortunately, how should we respond? When there is a burnt smell or odor in the vehicle, it may be due to plastic components catching fire due to high temperatures. At this time, immediately stop the vehicle, turn off the ignition, get out of the car, and call the dealership's rescue hotline for professional assistance. If unidentified smoke is detected while driving, it may be a battery fire. Immediately extinguish the fire, stop the vehicle, and get out of the car for inspection to prevent combustion. In the event of a severe collision, throw the key out as soon as you get out of the car. Once the electric vehicle and the key are separated, the automatic power-off lock will engage, reducing the risk of electrical system faults caused by live circuits. If the doors are deformed and cannot be opened, use a window breaker to escape through the window. Since the temperature of a burning traction battery can reach 1000 degrees Celsius and release a large amount of toxic gas, it is important to maintain a safe distance from the vehicle after exiting. With the continuous maturation of battery manufacturing technology and the improvement of vehicle manufacturing levels, the probability of electric vehicle fires is decreasing year by year. However, only by acquiring relevant knowledge and remaining vigilant can we effectively reduce the risk of injuries in fire accidents. Finally, let me summarize for our readers, hoping you have gained insights and thoughts. When discussing the issue of electric vehicle fires, we cannot ignore the positive impact electric vehicles have on the environment. Compared to traditional gasoline vehicles, electric vehicles emit zero tailpipe emissions, which is undoubtedly significant for improving air quality and reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Moreover, with the development of renewable energy technologies, the carbon footprint of electric vehicles during use is also continuously shrinking. Therefore, even though there is a risk of fires, from the perspective of comprehensive environmental benefits, electric vehicles still represent an important direction for the future automotive industry. However, as we have discussed, a scientific and balanced perspective is required when dealing with new things. This requires manufacturers to ensure the safety of battery systems in their designs, continuously improve battery stability and safety protection measures, and also requires consumers to maintain and follow correct operating guidelines when using electric vehicles. Governments and industry organizations should also establish strict safety standards and regulatory policies to ensure that electric vehicles meet corresponding safety requirements at every stage from production to road use. For consumers, understanding the basic principles of electric vehicles and safety knowledge is the first step in self-protection. For example, knowing how to handle battery faults in emergencies, how to charge correctly, and how to avoid excessive wear and tear on vehicles are all crucial. Education and training play a key role here, as they can increase public safety awareness and reduce potential risks. Finally, scientific research and technological innovation are the key drivers for continuously improving the safety of electric vehicles. Investing in research and development of new battery technologies, exploring more effective thermal management systems, 
and developing advanced monitoring and warning systems will have long-term effects on improving the overall safety performance of electric vehicles. In conclusion, electric vehicles, as a disruptive technology, undoubtedly have a bright future. However, we cannot ignore the challenges it brings. Only through the joint efforts of the entire society can we fully tap into its potential, make this technology more mature and stable, and ultimately achieve widespread adoption. Let us maintain an objective, rational attitude, continue learning, and jointly promote the healthy development of this field. Thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Episode. Episode.